This morning, we're starting a new series called Home Sweet Home about children whose lives haven't been easy, foster kids. I want to introduce you to a wonderful man, Guy Bryan. He's a foster father from Brooklyn, New York, who has made a home for more than 50 teens in the last 12 years. Take a look. Guy Bryan estimates that he's lovingly opened the doors of his home to over 50 teenagers. He is currently foster dad to Roe, Shah, Gregory, and Dior. It's 12. Working for the Administration for Children's Services, he realized it was the teenagers in the foster care system who were the hardest to place in a forever home. Over 100,000 teenagers are in need of homes. Everybody wants their babies, they're cute, they're cuddly. Everybody wants the toddlers. Why is it so tough to place some kids? They go from place to place and place. So they're, they're raised by like a whole, a whole bunch of different people and they have a whole bunch of different values. Kids at 17, 18, 19, it's very difficult. People don't want the problems that come along with somebody who's that age. Guy, basically, um, he opened his doors for me when I like basically needed it really like the most. Gregory bounced from foster home to foster home until the age of 17 when he met Guy. He says Guy gave him hope. Come on, Greg. You're only, <laughs> only eight points behind, bro. Me and Guy was like, all right, there is someone out there. There's still more to gain than to just like shut the world off. It's the simple things that hold the greatest meaning. For Gregory, it was his own set of house keys that made him feel like he finally belonged. Usually keys are not part of the deal. So when the guy gave us keys, that's like, I'm giving you my trust, you know? And this is our house. For you to have that little foundation, just like rebuilding something that was broken. Gregory is currently enrolled in college, something he says wouldn't have been possible without Guy. We shared this whole room. This whole room. 15 year old Dior just recently moved in with Guy. He says without him, he'd be living on the streets. What I, what I look at it is he gave me a new chance because, like, I feel like a lot of people was giving up on me. But when I first came here, Mr. B told me he wasn't going to give up on me. Shaw bounced around foster homes until he moved in with Guy. He says he had trouble with the way the rules were structured. But here, we have our own space. We all can be amongst each other and create our own type of family. For him, the right to self-autonomy was found right here in this kitchen. This kitchen means a lot to me because I, I just came from a place where the fridge was locked. You know, I couldn't eat when I wanted to. <laughs> the key to Guy's parenting is the same as any other parent's. What's your parenting style? They know I love them. I tell them that all the time. And it's important because some of them have never heard that. <laughs> For Ro, that love is evident. I call him Pop because we have a strong relationship. I see everything that he does is out of love. But Guy doesn't think he's special. Nah, he simply filled a need in the system, one he believes any of us can feel when done the right way. For everyone out there who may be considering fostering a teenager, what advice do you have for them? Do it. And the reason why I say that is you never know what you have to offer until that child comes in your home. His former foster kids agree. Hey, Mr. Bryant, thank you for being a mentor, a friend, a dad I never had. I just wanted to say thank you for being there for me since 1996. I wouldn't be here if it weren't for you. You've never given up on me, and I want to thank you uh, for all that what you've done for me. Please give a warm welcome to Guy in the Guys, Gregory Shaw, Roe and Dior. Thank you all for joining us. And Guy, I see you're, you're emotional over this, obviously, because you care so much. You're, you're, you're not a foster dad. You're a dad. You, you love these boys. And you have such a close relationship with it. And Roe, I want to ask you, what, what makes Guy a real dad? He's very supportive over anything you want to do. Um, he's always there for you. He's basically like a great father figure. And, and Gregor, I know you got keys to the house. Mm -hmm. um, Shah, you, you can open the refrigerator when you're hungry. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. Th definitely. Those, are, those are big things. And you guys all say this, this man trusts me. Yeah. He respects yeah. me. And what does that mean to you guys yeah. to have that feeling? Definitely. For me, it means, um, you know, when I walked in the house and he gave me the keys, I looked at him like he was crazy. 
you know, because I was coming from places where the foster parents didn't entrust us with, you know, the keys to their house, you know, their kitchen or anything like that, you know. So when I first came to B's house, it made me feel very good that, you know, he trusted me and gave me that his space to his house like that. And, and you heard what, guy, you heard what they said about you, okay? They really appreciate what you're giving them. And, uh, and my people, why, why are you so passionate about this? Why it's uh -uh. so important to you? I've seen, I've seen the worst. I've seen kids that come in and um, they've had no place to live. I had a good home. I, I lived well and my family, we were a family. And I think everybody should have family. I agree. I think we all can agree with that. Guy, I want you to get up, get up. Come over here with me, my friend. You guys want to come too? Come on over. It'd be great for you guys to see this too. Come on over. So, this wall here, we're gonna we're gonna put up the faces of a lot of these um, the kids that you've helped. And how does how do you feel to see these faces? I feel great. Feel great. Get on this. I am on the gentleman. You you feel great. Do you, you remember each and every one of these kids? I can tell you every name here. Every name? Yep. And you've made an impact on every one of their lives? In some kind of way, yeah. In some kind of way. Well, you know, I've got a big surprise for you because several of them are actually here for you. So we want you to come on out. Anthony, Kareem, Jose, Milagro, Christina, and Juan. this moment soak in everybody we'll be right back well hey there GMA fans Robin Roberts here thanks for checking out our YouTube channel lots of great stuff here so go on click the subscribe button right over right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day anytime we thank you for watching and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.